All right, with Xari HK Girls tonight, got a 62-58 win. They survive here against Cam here tonight. Quinn Grubbs here, a big contributor for them here tonight. And Quinn, obviously a bit of a back and forth game there for you guys, tight there at the end. Just kind of your thoughts on this win for you all. Um, yeah, it was a close win, um, but like they always say, a <laughs> win's a win. And it just showed us, um, it just brought us out a little bit more, brought out our character, brought out, um, just showed us that how to fight. And now I feel like we have a better idea going forward. Um, it's always good to have good competition and, um, I do feel that there is great improvement to be made, and so that's always good. I mean, we played um, close to a very good team in our conference, and we can only do better, I think, from here. So, you know, obviously, you guys lost some some pretty prominent faces last year, from last year, I should say. And just kind of talk, you know, being able to come out there, win a close game like this, and fight like that, obviously, with a bit of a younger team this year. Um, yeah, obviously, we lost uh, three of our five starters from last year, um, but I think we have great young talent coming in, and we a team we play as a great team and everybody contributes all eight of us um our three girls come off the bench and do so much for us um we couldn't do it without all any of like a single one of us so all eight it really is <laughs> sure you know and obviously it was kind of some a couple of big runs you guys there had in that first half that kind of kept it there close and obviously just kind of talk about being the able kind of what were you guys were doing offensively there to be able to put together a couple of those bigger runs um well like we always say offense leads in or defense leads into offense so i mean we were we're just worried about defensive stops. Get a stop, and then it'll take care of itself. Offense will take care of itself. Um, we got our stops in a row, and we started at tailing um, points together. And it just came. It came from defense, and that's really um, what kept us in the game tonight. And what I mean, especially at the end, what helped us finish it out. So, and obviously between you, Jalen Peterson, and uh, Macy Burmeister, obviously three big contributors tonight. Just kind of, kind of talk to people. Obviously, you lose some of those faces, but you still kind of keep that little bit of consistency. Being a strong performance tonight from the trio of you guys. Um, yeah, uh, I think that all of our girls did pretty well tonight. Um, like we, our freshman, um, our freshman from the corner made that last three pointer, and wow, did we need it? And I mean, it doesn't matter who it comes from. I mean, it. Everybody helps, and we had, we made, I think, five or six of us made threes tonight. And I mean, when shots go in, it's contagious, and we just got to keep shooting and play as a team. And I think that um, no matter who's contributing, we can be very good, a very good basketball team. And obviously, to be able to come out on the winning side of a game like that, I mean, how big gives it a confidence booster is it for you guys moving forward? Um, yeah, I think it's a great confidence booster, definitely, um, especially when um, two of our five starters are freshmen. I mean, this is only their third game of the season, and it, luck, I mean, it was one of our biggest ones of the season, biggest rivalries, um, and it just shows that uh, like we can step up to the challenge and um, that we can just do whatever we need and our freshmen can step up, and that's very, very helpful. We got some tonight. Go on the win tonight, Quinn. Thank you. All right, it was a close one here tonight, but Xyra EHK survived 62-58. He overcame here tonight. They get the win on the road here now with head coach Peterson. Coach, obviously a bit of a back-and-forth game there for you guys. Tight one there at the end. Just thoughts and takeaways here of this one tonight. Just trying to find a way. Uh, you know, it's a lot of new faces that are out there right now for us, and, you know, they're just not real comfortable yet in these situations. When you're playing a conference rival, uh, you can talk about it in practice as much as you want to as far as what the crowd is doing. And a lot of times, maybe you need some Clorox bleach for the girls. Uh, but at the same time, you know, they found a way to get things done uh, tonight. So um, very proud of what we did. You know, at times just kind of out of sorts, but that's to, it's to be expected. You know, we're not going to be playing our best basketball yet. We have a lot of time yet. Sure, and obviously in that first half, both of you guys kind of exchanged the big runs that you started, quick 10-0 run there to start that first quarter. Also had 12, 12 an answer there in that second quarter. Just kind of talk about what you guys were able to do there. You know, it was a lot of, obviously a lot of turnovers there for you guys. What are you doing there to be able to get some of those big runs? Well, you know, Shea Burmeister got her second foul, uh, and she can't do that. we got to have her on the floor. You know, she's been playing since she was a freshman in high school. Uh, I need her leadership. We need her poise out there. Uh, she's kind of like another coach for us that's out on the floor. So, you know, that's when they were able to make their run uh, is when they did that and I thought that our defensive pressure overall was pretty good but just some rotation flaws uh, that we have to clean up and you know watching some film and pointing some things out to these uh, you know we got we're playing a lot of inexperienced girls you know there's six out of the eight are very inexperienced with two freshmen starting uh, but you know I'm not gonna fault their heart because they all all eight of them get after it so also a couple of the one, couple of the girls that do have quite a bit of experience came out yeah. big tonight between Quinn Grubbs and Jaden Peterson. Just kind of kind of talk about their performances, both able to bring you get three guys. Obviously, they're specifically offensively as well. 
Well, you know, uh, Quinn, she's very disappointed in herself because she was struggling from the free throw line. She's about an 80% free throw shooter uh, overall. Coach. And, uh, you know, Shea Burmeister is the other one. Both of those two have been starting for me for three plus years and playing all four. Uh, you know, they just. I want the ball in their hands when we have to have good shots, uh, and I would probably rather have them take maybe not so good shots right now because the other ones just aren't ready for that uh, for that spot yet. So, but overall, just very proud of the kids. And obviously, you had that time out there late in that fourth. You think you were down by about three or four at that point. What was kind of the message to your goals? Obviously, you end up coming out with about a four-point win here today. Well, the thing is, you know, it's a little bit different. Uh, I think there was 152 to go when we were down by four. Uh, and just we, I wrote up, a, uh, did a set play, you know, with the, with the screen up there for Quinn uh, to try to kick it to Shea or Briley in the corner. Uh, it happened to work, but, you know, you have to use the shot clock to your advantage. And that was one of the things because, you know, a lot of other times in the past when we're in that situation, we're going to have to probably foul, uh, you know, so and not not having to do that tonight, it definitely helped us out. So and obviously, as you mentioned, a lot of new faces for you guys here tonight. I mean, to be able to get out of a win like this on, or a game like this on the winning side, I mean, how big is that for you guys as you move well, forward? I think it's, you know, I want it to be a confidence booster uh, for the younger kids. You know, that's one of the things I was talking to them about after the game. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just places that they've never been. Uh, you know, you're, you're playing a year ago, a lot of them are playing against junior high, two of them, you know, 14 and 13 year olds, and now you're playing against 15 to 18 year olds. So, and the other ones, it's the same thing, you know, they're inexperienced and uh, just to be able to have Quinn and Shea out there to provide the leadership, I think it settles all of them down, but this was a great, it's a great win on the road, uh, you know, and so hopefully it's something that our kids can build on. We got something to win it, coach.